Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a June favourites for you guys today. Now, this video will hopefully be up before um, mid-July, so hopefully it will be up early so you guys can see all of my June favourites. I don't actually have many June favourite products in the June favourite bag right here, but I thought, you know, I could just grab a few things that I've loved last month and just put them inside the June favourite bag. So hopefully next month I can do a July favourites bag and there'll be more products that I'll be really enjoying that I can really show you guys. So you can get a, a different um, side of what products I use. So all of my June favourites are in this Body Shop bag and these are the, just the bags that you get from Body Shop, the Body Shop when you buy um, something. You can either, you know, reuse these or, you know, they're recyclable so they're really like natural and really good and I love how they have the handles so that I can use these for like all my monthly favorites and they just fit a ton in there so I'm really enjoying these bags um, for my favorite monthly favorites first of it's all toothpaste but, you know because I've been really loving toothpaste and I I don't know I have really sensitive teeth and I've been really wanting to get a really good quality toothpaste for sensitive teeth now I know there's a Colgate Sensitive Pro Relief one and then there's Sensodyne. Now, I've been watching a lot of ads on TV where they have um, the like people who demonstrate the Sensodyne. I, no, I think it was for Colgate maybe, but there is Sensodyne ones and I chose to get the Sensodyne one. Now, I get really sensitive teeth and I don't know, I just I can't use any other toothpaste. So I've been really enjoying using this. Um, I only just bought this and I still love it. So... Um, I thought, you know, I might quickly put it in my June favourites video, and it's a very small tube of it. This one is only 110 grams. I think there is a bigger tube of this if you, you know, like to have the bigger tube. But I just use this on my toothbrush every morning and night, and it's really good. Um, I really enjoy using it. It has a really nice minty taste, and it's the Total Care Plus Whitening with fluoride um, flavour type brand. Um, whichever you would call it, um, but it just comes in a little pretty packaging, very simple, um, and it just has like demonstrations and a lot of information to tell you guys all about, you know, what is tooth sensitivity, um, have I got sensitivity, why is sensitive I'm right for me and how does it work, um, and I don't know, it's basically anyone can use it, um, not just people who have sensitive teeth. It's really good. It protects the um, enamel on your teeth and you don't get really sensitive teeth when you, you know, um, have water. So I thought this product was really good. So I'm going to keep using this and I will keep you updated with it. Next product I'm going to show you guys today isn't really a product, but it's a beauty utensil. And I did show this one, this beauty utensil, in my last uh, beauty product haul, um, which is the video before this one, and there was two parts to it. There was a beauty haul, and then there was a skincare haul, and a review and an outfit of the day mixed in with that video. But I'm just going to re-show you guys this one again. I really do enjoy using this brush um, because it's just so soft on the eye, and it doesn't drag the eye when you use it. So, I don't know, I've been really loving it, and it's the Eco Tools. I cannot remember the name. Eyeshadow brush, um, and it's all like natural... Um, products and just all recycled materials for it so it's all like vegetarian for the brush but I really enjoy it and it's really soft and I just use this for basically eyeshadow. Um, I wouldn't say you could use it as an inner corner highlighter to put eyeshadow there because it's too big of a brush but it's just using all over the lid and yeah. And also it is always good to clean your brushes every week to two weeks because it's also good to just get rid of that makeup build up that gets on your brushes. So next product is a uh, shower gel and this is the strawberry shower gel from the body shop. Now I bought this a while ago, I think it was a couple of weeks ago and I am really enjoying this. I haven't used that much because you don't need a heap um, when you're using it. You only need a little tiny bit um, to use on your body and it's just really refreshing and it smells like smells like strawberries um, so it's really good and I really like strawberry scented um, beauty products so I'm really enjoying this and I also have another thing that can be used with this but basically I 
I don't know, I've really been liking this one because I know there's a lot of uh, different flavours and different scents and I think there's a grapefruit one, I believe there's a coconut and lemon I think, I think it's called, um, I can't remember the name but I think it's something to do with lemon um, but it's a real fresh scent and I just love the packaging and you know it's all cruelty free products so they just, it's just really nice and something you know you could use on a daily basis or you know only on special you know treats but it's really nice and it smells beautiful and looks really nice. So the next product that goes with the strawberry shower gel from the body shop is the body shop strawberry butter, body butter. And I have really been enjoying this one. This is the 50ml little container and I think the next one is 100ml I think. But I'm really enjoying this one. As I said these are really you know, really good quality products and they're against animal testing on the back it says there. Um, so it's all real natural products and the smell is just absolutely beautiful. And I have used quite a bit, it was quite full before, but I'm trying to keep it and not use so much because I use this every night um, and all during the day. This is really good for all use and it's also good to just pop in your bag and just use if you need it. So it's really good and I highly recommend it. So the next two products um, sort of go together really um, kind of but they're both blushes and the first blush I, I've i only just been using for a while now but it's the Rimmel, I think these are called the mono blushes and um, this one's called Santa Rose and it's just a beautiful and you can probably see that I have used a bit of it but it's just a beautiful um, kind of an autumn rose, wintry rose, it's just beautiful and I do have it on today but you probably can't notice it because um, it's very sheer but it just looks really nice um, contoured into the cheeks and really nice, it gives you a bit of um, nice pink flush to your cheeks but not too much. So the next blush I'm going to show you is the Bourjois one and I did show this one in I think my last video um, and it just smells like candy. and this one is in 34 Rose Dior and it's just a really lovely packaging like it's all pink and it's the blusher one and you get like a little pretty blush brush and then the product looks like this. Now it's just a beautiful pink colour, um, an everyday colour that you could use on your cheeks or you know um, just night and day colours and they just look beautiful on. Um, they're good for, you know, all skin types and just looks really nice. And it smells like macaroons and because it is rose scented, um, it smells just absolutely amazing. So I highly recommend this. And yeah. so I have a lip product here which is basically all, um, always my favourite lip gloss to use um, when you have chapped lips because this one is just... It's long lasting relief for dry chapped lips and this is Carmix and it's the classic version and I know you can get like a cherry and a strawberry I think but I just like the original version because um, I don't know they're it's a really good brand um, yeah and this is real good price to pay for a really nice lip gloss to use every day um, I'm almost out of it because I use it every day and I just use it under lipstick or you know just as a base or on its own it just looks really nice and is really good for everyday use. So the next few favourites I have this month are kind of I would say they're facial treatments and they're from Thalgo, Palactive and Dermalogica so they're three brands and they're little sample um, sized little containers and little sachets so I have a few of these um, but I'm really impressed with the Thalgo one and this is the Bioprotective Cream Sensitive or Reactive Skin, no parabens. And this one is really nice just for everyday use on your skin. I have already opened it um, and this is the first sachet I have used. Um, it's really good for sensitive skin and I highly recommend that one. I just only use it on where I've got really like agitated skin, so around my eye area, my nose and on my cheeks where sort of a lot of dryness is but I really quite enjoy using this product. next product I have is a Dermalogica one and this is another sachet um, and this is for the overnight clearing gel by Medibac 
and this is just you know for, used for congestion you know around your skin um, and it's always good to use um, as a mask it just it smells really nice um, get it's a miracle basically I'm really impressed with this product and I will be repurchasing the full size of this because I'm very impressed with it and the next product I have or sachet I have from Dermalogic is the skin hydrating mask and it is teared open because I have used the whole um, other one and I have I think I have another one here um, that I have opened but not fully used and it just looks like this you use it as a mask and you leave it on your skin for 10 to 15 minutes then rinse thoroughly with warm water. It can be used as an eye mask and it's really good for using, um, excellent for the delicate eye area. So it's really good and there's no artificial fragrance or colour. So they're really good for skin and I'm really impressed with the Dermalogica products so I will pro most likely be buying um, the full size of this product. The next few sachets I have is um, one from Palactive. Now, Palactive, I don't, I'm not too sure if you can buy this, but um, it's just the Palactive Visibly Healthy Skin um, Eye Contour Perfecting Cream. Now, this is good for around under the eye, so if you have um, dark circles or you know, real dryness around there, um, I've been getting real agitation around. Um, my under eye area and above my eye so really agitating and just here on the skin so I've been really using this um, you only apply a small amount on your fingertips to your eye and just dab it in don't like pull the eye don't drag the eye along you just pat gently around the eye area morning and night before applying collective moisturizer so you would use this um, in conjunction with the moisturizer and this is ideal for sensitive skin, suitable for all skin. So the next two sachets I have um, from Dermalogic and Palactive again is the um, Oil Free Balancing Serum and the Active Moist Dermalogica Cream. Now this is just basically a moisturizer and um, I'm basically I have got um, most of these sachets just in little bags so that they kept, you know, safely just in these um, and I do get these from my sister because she is a beauty therapist she just um, you know gets these um, little samples so they're really good um, for you know all types of skin and they're really good for like balancing the skin and hydrating the skin because the skin hydrating mask from Dermalogica is really good for skin that's very you know dry and you know needs a lot of hydration to it because um, especially during winter when the winter weather can get a little drying and just makes you know your skin go absolutely crazy but basically I use these on a regular basis and I have gone through quite a few sachets of these. So the second last product in my June favourites is the Vitamin E Moisture Cream by The Body Shop. Now these are just little sample um, sachets and they're against animal testing products as well so they no animal you know products in this um, which is really good and they're so it's so softening on the hands when you use this and I'm very impressed with this I think I might go buy the full size of this um, so you know go ask you know the body shop for a sample because you know they it's really nice and I think this is um, a new sam um, a new sort of product because I, I actually have never seen the vitamin E moisture cream in there before until I looked online and I saw it and then I made a purchase in there once because um, I got the strawberry shower gel and I got these um, as little samples to use and I'm very impressed with them. So the last um, product in my June favourites is actually a perfume and I don't think I've shown a perfume in any of my videos but um, I am going to show you um, guys a perfume today because I've really been enjoying this perfume and I've had this perfume for a while now so it's not like it's a new perfume, um, it's been out for ages uh, I believe so it's the Daisy by Marc Jacobs and it's the original Daisy and this uh, perfume is absolutely gorgeous it's a girly floral perfume that um, you know all, everyone will really like um, and it's the original version because I believe there is um, there is quite a few other Brand, uh, types of this product. There's a new version. I think there's a black version of this in a black bottle. Um, and then there's a pink 
version and then there's like a multicolored version so I think they're all different scents but they're the name the same name as Daisy so I just really liked it because it's got little pretty daisies it's a beautiful packaging I like I said I, I you know I have had this for ages but I haven't actually used this all the time because it's something I do you know want to keep as um, a backup perfume you know later um, later down the track but I do I have been using the Nina Ricky um, Nina perfume I think it's just in the little apple red one um, and it's absolutely beautiful that's like floral and just it really girly and I, I really like it um, as well as the Harajuku dolls and I think it's the love one and it's really it's just really nice and it's you know a beautiful perfume but my favorite one this month is this one and it's the Daisy Marc Jacobs so that is all my June favorites um, products in this bag and I hope you enjoyed this video um because this is actually a first monthly favorite that i put up so this is for june and i hopefully will be doing a july favorites which will have more products in it from different brands so you guys can you know see a huge change up in my skincare and perfumes and makeup i do have quite a few makeup products and you know makeup studio secrets um by l'oreal i have been using that and i'm you know reviewing it now and I didn't want to put it in this uh, video in my favorites video because I haven't been using it as long as I you know thought I would be using it um, because I've been just using my Maybelline 24 hour color stay I think it is or super stay um, either one of those and it's been really good as well as the BB cream um, it's the nude magic BB cream by L'Oreal and it's really good because it comes in the um, trio of the Lumi Magic foundations, um, which is really good, and I'm quite enjoying that. I hope you enjoy this video, and I did light some candles for this video, so hopefully it looks a little bit nicer in the background um, and not so um, dull there. But I have been lighting a lot of candles lately, and this one here is the one I did show in my video, and it's the Yankee Candle, the French Vanilla um, Food and Spice Candle. And then I just have some little, two little mini tea lights there, um, and they are from Dusk. So they're just unscented and they smell, well they don't smell, but um, the French vanilla smells absolutely beautiful and my room is filled like with French vanilla, so I'm really enjoying it. I'm hopefully trying to just have a lot of candles um, and, you know, a really nice scent going, so I'm really impressed with the Yankee Candle. Um, it's got, I think it's got eight hours burning time, I believe. And the bigger ones go up in the burning time. But it's really nice. Um, a really nice scent. So I think I might go and repurchase another one. Um, maybe the pink sand one or another French vanilla one. So I'm really impressed with it. And I hope you enjoy this video. Bye. So if you don't really like how the scenery is. And I just have edited a curtain video. So this is probably why you see this terrible situation going on here. Hey guys, I'm back today and I have a huge haul for you guys. So first product I'm going to show is this. Now, I have a whole bunch of samples and I don't know where the other sample went. I think I lost the sample. No, it's still there. Um... <laughs> 